heartfelt reunions, putting a renewed spring in the step of seniors. These Canberra aged care residents were treated to drive-by catch-ups with family. Fran hadn't seen her daughters in months. Oh, you have no idea. It's just wonderful to see any family, but it's very special. It was a special day. It's good to see family, not just to talk to them on the phone. It's something that gets talked about for days after and it's just wonderful to see people smile. These communities have been the most vulnerable throughout the pandemic. It's been a horror few weeks for Calvary Hayden's aged care facility. But today, some hope, with no new cases recorded. The cluster at the Centenary Hospital for Women and Children's Special Care Nursery hasn't grown today either, after two babies tested positive. Five other babies have been assessed as close contacts and are therefore now in quarantine. I acknowledge this is an incredibly challenging and stressful situation for their parents. 40 new cases were recorded today. Just over half are linked. At least 10 cases were infectious in the community, with 16 patients hospitalised. But in positive news, the ACT still leads the nation in the vaccination race. Almost 97% of Canberrans 12 and over have received a first dose. And the ACT is closing in on 70% fully dosed. But for young people who can't yet be vaccinated, schools are getting safety upgrades to the tune of $5.7 million. The main aim is to increase fresh airflow. Building works, CO2 monitoring, increasing the maintenance of heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems. Authorities are also focusing on Canberra's Indigenous community, which is 20% behind the wider community for first doses of a vaccine. We have over 100 people in our community that are COVID positive, and that's also very concerning. As the vaccine count goes up, the count to the end of lockdown is on. With a week to go, attention's turning to escaping across the borders. But plans for interstate travel will have to wait a bit longer. These seniors aren't planning to travel anywhere, but they are looking forward to people being able to travel to them. And next visit, there will be hugs. Talia Roy, ABC News, Canberra.